everyone, how are you? It is December 3rd, 2013. I am Daddy. Daddy. Daddy May. Or Dorothy. Um, anyway, um, I'm apologizing now if this video gets too long. I hope it doesn't get terribly long or it'll probably take forever to upload. I continue to use my iPad. Hope these come through okay. I honestly don't and haven't for a while watched my videos um, after I record them. I don't take a lot of time doing, actually I don't do editing at all. It's just record and upload and that is that. Um, I may sound a little funny. My throat hurts. I have, I think my glands are swollen. Um, I'm a little cold right now. But, um, I had my counseling appointment today. And so I thought I would actually talk a little bit about that. Um, and show you my homework. <laughs> um. First of all, she had me um, bring home the Burns Depression Checklist. I've done this before a few times. Um, and the Burns Anxiety. This is the first time I've ever done one for anxiety, but because of the panic anxiety attack I had back in... I actually had a really big one back uh, in March or April where I ended up in the hospital and it was pretty scary. Um, and so I have to tell you that I've learned to recognize the anxiety and the, the, the feeling that it brings and, and any, ugh, I don't like it. Um, and even worse, I have fear of taking pills and everything. And so when it hits, as it did the night before Thanksgiving, I I just really struggle. Um, and, you know, all through natural methods to try to work through it, being things like um, the lavender chamomile lotion I have, I'll put it on and I'll light candles and I'll listen to music or I'll play words with friends or I'll watch funny videos, videos of people that I know can actually make me laugh. Um, Christopher and Robbie over there are one of them. Um, Light-hearted stuff, you know what I mean? And I try to avoid the news. I try to avoid, I mean, I'll even avoid Facebook or just skim over if I'm seeing a lot of yuck. Anyway, <laughs> um, the idea is to read through the different things. There's different categories and score it. And then um, at the end of it, it gives you a scoring key and then tells you your degree of anxiety and for anxiety I scored 27 which puts me at moderate anxiety and this this scale is something both of these are something that I did today for today's counseling and then I will use a different color um, just before the next time I go in to see where I'm at, if I'm better, if, you know, that kind of thing. Um, and then I did the same with the depression. And there I was 31, which is moderate depression. So, um, yeah. And it could very well be that the anxiety and depression ha is what has weakened my immune system despite the fact that I've been taking my vitamins every day and everything um I think it weakened my immunity which is why which I think is part of the reason why I got the sore throat and everything going on um plus the weather here um it was 
I'm in Michigan and it was like, you know, snowing one day and literally now it's like in the upper 30s, 40s and it's rain. So, um, that really doesn't help. So, she also gave me something that I believe is probably online through the Mayo Clinic, um, site. There's probably a site or something. I don't know. But, stress... <clears throat> excuse me, stress, depression, and holidays, tips for coping, um, just tips to prevent holiday stress, and I think it is the holidays that kind of, the holidays combined with the finances and whatnot, uh, I will say, um, oh, she also gave me mistaken beliefs, that was a while ago, about, you know, beliefs about myself, stinking thinking, that kind of thing. I sound like an absolute mess, don't I? Um, anyway, it is cold in here. Excuse me. So, going through all that, and, um, haven't been back to the gym, and I'm not, because, <laughs> I'm not going to um, assume that it's just all anxiety and everything and then go um, to something that will bring my immunity down even further. I have been making conscious decisions, conscious decisions, conscious effort to eat something and keep my nutrition up because the whole sleep deprivation last time combined with everything else is what landed me in the hospital. I do not want to go back there again. I'm working very hard to um, avoid that. Um, what else? What else I say? Oh, the whole financial situation, of course. Um, I'm just going to be um, I work full time. I work in IT. I, it's a decent job. I am I know I've pissed and moaned and everything. There's just a lot going on. Um, but I'll tell you, when I hear of a lot of the benefit issues people are having with the whole um, Affordable Care Act and whatnot and just, you know, some people getting cut off or whatever, I honestly don't know everything. I just hear a lot. And so I... Definitely, I'm grateful that my employer still offered the same health plans that I had last year. So I could pick those and I'm set, um, at least so far, as far as I know, I haven't heard anything else. So um, my um, enrollment is done and I'm set for the new period of January 1 to start. So I'm grateful for that. Um, also, I've been there almost 25 years. I do have 401k, pension, that kind of thing. Um, and I don't contribute a lot to 401k, but I do contribute some. And so there was, there's money there, not a lot, but I decided to um, take a 401k loan out to help with all of this past due and just everything coming down at once. And and I think, you know, I just kind of use the reasoning that you got to live in the now and not, you, you got to take care of what's going on now. And, you know, retirement, I don't know. That's, you know, I'm 42. That's, as far as I know, quite a ways off. So... Um, I just did what I thought I needed to do to help alleviate some of that pressure and strain and everything else. So, um, I did take a loan out. It was a tough, tough decision, but I didn't take all of it out. I took out what I, I was diligent. I wrote everything out. I took out what I thought I would need to get everything caught up. And, and so... Now I do have that to pay back, but it'll be weekly payroll deduction. Um, so, yes, I'm going to be paying back another loan, but it will take off 
you know, the bill collecting stress and all of that stuff. So, um, so it was nice that, that part feels good. It kind of relieves some, some of that, everything that was coming out, you know what I mean? So, uh, with a hard time swallowing. So as far as all that goes, I'm feeling okay. So, whew, whew. um, but I did what I thought I had to do to take care of the now to help alleviate, you know, um, you know, Hey, I did what I did. Um, and I am cold. The fireplace is out in the other room. It's colder back here in the bedroom. And so that being said, I'm going to go let you guys go and just say thank you for listening to all of this and any comments that you may or may not leave. Um, this whole Google Plus thing, I still haven't quite figured it all out. I do try to reply when I'm on a computer because I haven't figured it out on this iPad. And so, anyway, um, that's that. Thanks so much, guys. I will talk to you later. And peace, love, smile, do it. All right, bye.